was the beginning of the first millennium BC. In the Indian subcontinent, great philosophic ideas, which were to last forever, were being crystallized. The material world which we see around us was considered Maya or Mithya, an illusion. The high purpose of life was to rise above these limitations, to lift the veils of illusion and to see beyond, thereby to break the spell of the transitory world or sansara. In this age, numerous thinkers gave up the attractions of the material world to search for the truth. They left behind their material possessions and their emotional bonds with their families. They sought to be free of the endless pursuit of desires in the material world. The greatest renunciator of the period was Gautama Siddharth, known as the fourth or the seventh Buddha or enlightened one. Millions of his followers continue till today as one of the greatest religions of the world, Buddhism. India has had an incredible history. For almost 2,000 years of known ancient history, there was no focus on individual persons, not even kings. It was the eternal truths, beyond the passing illusions of Maya or Mithya, which were the subject of Indian literature and art. All humans are aware of the pain of life in this world. Thus, this philosophy of Buddhism was accepted with open arms wherever it traveled. Sang